Hey guys, so this video is for if your car is, uh, uh, is when you remove the gas cap, if the engine uh, just dies, or if you're filling gas and the engine dies, and then uh, after you fill up, uh, let's say you've shut it off, and now you try to restart it after getting gas, it won't start. It just keeps cranking and cranking. So uh, I want to explain... Uh, what's going on here because I've just tested all this because I tried to find videos on this uh, I just found like kind of useless information basically saying to change this part here well uh, you can't just change a part you know like uh, I was looking for like a hack because I'm going to change that part but there has to be a way around it and I found uh, some hacks for it to um, so you don't have to change that part <clears throat> so uh if your engine is stalling like randomly so I had a car I was working on that it was uh, while they're driving it's like hesitating sometimes and then when it's idling like warming up it just stalls like randomly so uh, I fixed that I think I fixed it by uh, changing the the cap uh, because it was all it was all cracked this this is actually it right here it's all cracked around uh, so at the same time I got the, a new cap and I, I changed the air filter and I put a whole bottle of uh, fuel injector cleaner. So at that point, I don't know what solved the problem, but it never stalled again. And that was like uh, over a month ago. So it could also have something to do with now it's colder weather. So when it's like warmer weather and it's like fluctuating, that could might affect it, the computer or something. So it's getting confused. But uh, now it's colder weather. I'm not having any problems. So, but uh so this part here, uh, it usually uh, gets stuck open. So it's sucking the fumes from the gas tank into the air intake. So this is the hack. You you gotta dis you gotta find this. So you uh, locate uh, where your purge valve is inside your engine bay. So you just gotta look it up. I'm not gonna show anything here because this is all copyrighted. But you're gonna find your 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 purge valve where it's in your engine. Uh, just type it on Google and then what you're going to do is disconnect uh, the hose that's uh, leading from the gas tank to the purge valve. At that point you're isolating your engine, uh, so uh, uh, the air intake from the gas tank. So what's going to happen is, I've tested this, you can leave the car running at the gas station and then uh, remove the gas cap. It will not affect it if you disconnect that line. It's a quick connect, they're very easy. You can lubricate it so it's easier on and off. And uh, you just disconnect it. It's like a quick connect, uh, depending GM or whoever, and you just sort of press the little lever, move it to the left and pull the hose off. Very easy. So once that's disconnected, there's no fumes coming into the engine. So now you remove the ca gas cap, it'll stay running. And when you, when you fill the gas tank, it's gonna stay running because now this uh, engine vacuum is not sucking the fumes from the engine. That's what's killing the engine is the uh, vapors of gasoline because your purge valve is probably stuck open. So uh, like if you're, it could be the canister is also bad, but that's a very expensive part. So <clears throat> uh, if you disconnect that hose, it doesn't matter if your canister is bad because the canister takes the vapors. But if you disconnect this, it doesn't matter if you have a canister or not. Uh, so what I've also noticed is uh, uh, once you uh, disconnect that line and the car is running, after you fill the gas, don't reconnect that line uh, because it could stall again. Uh, you can try to connect this slowly and it's possible it will stay running. But uh, I was testing this and then I just reconnected it. Like I was uh, just stuck it on. And uh, it just died right away. It's very sensitive, these, these engines to these fumes. So uh, you could, uh, later I tried it again. I, I drove a bit and then I tried to stick it back on. And then uh, I just did it slowly. It kind of sputtered and it didn't like it, but it kept running, but it didn't run very good. Uh, so it's better to uh, maybe drive where you need to go or wrap that thing up or something. That way you don't have any problems because then I went to restart the engine and it didn't start perfectly either because there had already the fumes f uh, from the engine there. Okay guys, thanks for watching, have a nice day.